the key markers you're really looking to track is EGFR, which is more important than the absolute values. You want to look for proteinuria, which is the urine albumin to creatinine ratio or urine protein to creatinine ratio. You're very interested in monitoring your electrolytes. What's your potassium? What's your phosphorus? And of course, you want to monitor your hemoglobin, especially as kidney disease advances because anemia can put so much pressure. And once things are stable, then we usually spread the labs out. It might be quarterly monitoring, in other words, about every three months or longer. But we want to make sure, one, we're not over-testing, and two, that we're really looking for long-term trends. And then the final piece to this really is you want to make sure that other things like bone markers for mineral disease, vitamin D levels, iron studies, and just making sure your cardiovascular risk assessment are all being checked at least annually, if not more often. Same thing with blood pressure. Blood pressure needs to really be checked very frequently so that you can figure out the right regimen. 